Hello, my name is Dennis Kayser. I'm the owner of ICR Digital Photography Forums. And what we want to do is just talk about basic cloning. Uh, the reason why this has come up is that uh, one of the members uh, posted this uh, great gray owl. And as you can see in this location, there is a branch. And that is 99% of the time if a branch is in the way, you're not going to see it through the lens of the camera. So what we'll do is we'll just go through the basics. We're not going to go into too much of uh, refining the image, but just giving you an idea what you need to, uh, to do. Uh, the first thing I do uh, when cloning, I usually go to the spot healing brush, give that a try. Uh, usually it should be in the normal mode and we'll discuss the uh, replace, but Normally what you do is you go down the image and as you can see it really hasn't uh, done a whole lot here to clean it up and in fact it's kind of made it a little bit worse. So we're going to revert that back. In this case um, we'll need to go to the clone tool but before we do the spot healing brush works on small branches that may cover the bird and uh, get rid of the uh, the the parts that you don't want. So we're going to go to the cloning tool and what we'll do first is we're going to try to fix and add more of this feather detail into here. Uh, it's going to be a little bit difficult to do because there's not much room to work with and to cover this this area. So basically what we're going to do is get the brush size big enough that covers this area and we might try that and what you want to do is line up your feathers if you if you're off you'll see it um, so you try to line them up the best you can a couple of good clicks and maybe another set and what I like to do is just sort of make the brush small and just come down and sort of just add add that to it it's not a hundred percent and it, you can see in this area right here but we'll fix that up uh, when we go along. The next thing I do is uh, you see this line going across and what I'd like to do is pick a spot here or here and then work down and then move, pick the spot and so on and so forth. So we're going to start from this side here, increase the brush size. We're going to right click and then what we'll do is just come up a little bit and just add some cloning and as you can see it's repetitive in three spots and what we'll do is maybe just pick a little slightly different spot and to to cover that up and maybe we'll do the same with that just you don't uh, have to overdo it but just enough and then we're going to maybe what we'll do is we'll take take this side here just above there and bring that down a bit and see how that covers. It looks pretty good. Uh, maybe just this little spot here will and then maybe here we'll just move that over just to so that worked out good. So then now we go to the next area just move up, line things up if you can and keep moving along and eventually it, it gets done uh, to the way you like it. And Again, it's repetitive here and here, so we just take another spot and just cover up the, the, the mistake. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to lose some of the this area in here. There's not much we can do about that. Um, there's nothing to, uh, I guess, to pick and, and uh, fill that in. So we'll just take the area that we had at the bottom and just carry that up maybe take a little bit of this uh, maybe that's not going to work um, we'll just uh, have to take more of this area here just sort of fill that in and I don't care for this a whole lot so we'll just do that and we're moving along as you can see it doesn't take long uh, as I s mentioned that it's uh, it's something that you need to spend some time at in order to get get it done right. If you tend to hurry it up, it uh, 
it'll give you that look but I'm just as I mentioned just trying to give you a idea how this is uh, all going to turn out and we're going to add some there we're going to take some of these feathers from this area maybe we can make that a li little bit bigger and try to fill in that void there and come down this way a bit take the branch that the owl is on and what we'll do is pick a point and you left click on your mouse and you line it up as see you can see it's not lined what you do is if you line it up it, it'll look pretty good it'll be hard to tell that you've actually cloned it and that's the beauty of this and that doesn't look too bad but what we could do is just bring the feathers here a little bit down and so far uh, it's not a hundred percent as I I've said uh, but it's close then we're going to take this area here and move over here so that we get some of that detail back into the feathers as it's being lost due to that branch so we're going to just click away and if you need to you can take another point just to to make some corrections um, there's not a whole lot of detail in there but it'll be good enough for this and it's, uh, we'll see we've kind of see our spot there so what we can do is pick our oh, we took too much so we're going to make the brush smaller sometimes making the brush size smaller gives you a lot more control but for this demo it's it's uh, going to have to do so not so bad it's uh it's not a hundred percent it's pretty close and what I would probably do is just stop at this end the thing that we'll work on now is these branches that are here and remove them now I know for a fact that using the spot healing brush changing it from normal to replace will replace the background and remove these within pretty good uh, with pretty good ease uh, what I'm using is a graphics tablet because I find that you can work fast and get rid of branches such as this and, and doing the edits is a lot easier to do in the long run for me and I know for a few of the other guys that uh, I know have uh, tablets and they just love them as well as I do and you have more control and so we're just and what you want to do is you want to pick a brush that's a little bit bigger than what you really have to begin with so you can change change the brush from brush for more accuracy and and you don't have to worry it'll it'll clean it up and if you have some spots it's easy enough to remove them um, with the pen on the Wacom tablets and there you go here and basically um, maybe just fix that up just a little bit and what I do from here is because we've done a lot of cloning along the bird uh, what I'd like to do is just add some some extra contrast what that'll do is basically hide some of your imperfections that you've done and I'll show you so we're going to run color effects pro 4 and here's your added contrast with the current settings I had prior and it's uh, covered it up pretty good although maybe here could be fixed so we're going to turn off the contrast turn it back on and you can see a big difference and right there adding more contrast if uh, if you didn't look too close you wouldn't you wouldn't tell it was cloned um, sometimes uh, spending the time uh, with with the overall uh, image and not hurrying it rushing it you can really uh, cover up a, a, uh, a branch and remove it and it's not just for bird photography you can use this for anything if you do landscapes there's a wire that's going across a building or across a tree into another building but you want to get rid of it you can use that spot healing brush 
bang, it's out of the way. There's uh, a lot of uses for the clone and the spot healing brush. Um, they're, they're the two favorites that I, I like to use. And especially with the spot healing brush, if you change it from normal mode to the uh, replace, um, you'll find that sometimes the normal mode works. And um, just go here. And then if you go to the replace, uh, the replace will work much better. It's a, it's a two-way two uh, street on that one. But uh, I find that if I use the normal first uh, and then use, and if it doesn't work the way I want, then I'll use the replace. And I usually find that that works really well. Uh, this image is a great gray owl. And uh, I was kindly enough to get permission to use it for this demo. Again, my name is Dennis Kayser from ICR Digital Photographers. Thank you. Hope you enjoyed this.